Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 9th of 2017. This is going to be a unboxing and a review of uh, this. But first I'm going to talk about some other things before I get to that, which is, by the way, going to be this device charging dock, 10 port, uh, but I have set back up, by the way, this is a review, but this is not the review that's going to appear on Amazon. I'm doing two separate reviews. That way I can talk about some other things here, and so there'll be a separate review for Amazon. Um, two, I just received this, haven't taken it out of the box, so I will um, take it out of the box, do an unboxing, pause this, hook things up, check it out, and then come back in the video and then uh, update you. Uh, I have didn't intend to, but I set back up a blog site, and uh, the URL, I'll put it down below, but it's jimhoward.blog, B-L-O-G, and my original intent was sort of a one page with links and things that you could go to and find but it looks like it's starting to evolve into a little more than that. But this is it, and I uh, just set it up, I think, yesterday or the day before, so I'm, I'll be messing with it every day. I enjoy actually playing with software and that type of stuff for it. It's running uh, WordPress. Um, I'm using a different keyboard, although this is one I've had for, I don't know, several years. And this is the Razer Black Window Ultimate 2014. I'll put a link below to it. And it's a really nice keyboard. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you will know that this is the uh, Logitech G710 Plus keyboard, and it is a really nice uh, keyboard also. Uh, I have don't really have any complaints with it. Uh, nice keyboard, but well, what happened is I have a bunch of keyboards around here and a bunch of headsets. Uh, a neighbor is uh, really sick and he didn't have a, a computer. And uh, his wife said that he would, you know, he would like to have one. And so I have an old computer here. It's the one I've told you about that I installed Linux on, several different versions of Linux playing with that. And so I said I would set him up with, uh, he could have a computer for free. And so I set him with that, up with that old computer. I installed Windows 10 on it. Um, I gave him a nice looking mouse. I, I did a review of it. It looked nice. It was really inexpensive, but it really looked nice when people would see the mouse. And it worked okay. And uh, so when I would set that old computer up here, I, uh, I thought, well, this is a good opportunity for me to, I'll give him 
this keyboard, which I've had for years and years, and I really liked it, but it's one of those old keyboards that doesn't have a USB connector on it. It has one of these old connectors that uh, none of the other computers we have around here except for this old computer uh, would even take a mouse or a uh, keyboard like that. I thought, well, he can. I'll, give, I'll get rid of this keyboard, which doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use anymore. And uh, actually, you know, this has this is a nice keyboard. Um, don't remember what make it is now. Uh, model five two one nine. I can't read. It's too small, and I don't think it's a bit. Oh, it says what well, says HP on it, and and it probably came with. Uh, now I think I purchased it. I don't, don't remember. Anyway, I hooked everything up, um, plugged that in, and the keyboard wouldn't work. Mouse worked. Uh, I even got that's that computer that I told you about that. Uh, I could not get, for years we have tried to get uh, Wi-Fi to work with it. It would not work with Wi-Fi. But I had a, and I thought we had tried it, I, I hooked up a USB uh, Wi-Fi device to it and it actually worked. Uh, so Wi-Fi works and then of course plugging in it to a cable will work. So when this keyboard wouldn't work, I had to dig through my other keyboards that I have here, several. And I don't even remember what the, but it's one I reviewed here. A really nice keyboard, actually metal, waterproof. Uh, the lights were fantastic, uh, everything. And I thought, oh my God, uh, I looked around and Okay, I got to give him that keyboard. So, so he got that really nice keyboard also. So when I was going through trying to figure out, I didn't want to give him my G610. It's a nice keyboard and an expensive one. Um, I looked at everything else. I, just, I gave him that. But when I was going through them, trying them, I pulled out this... Um, Black Razor Window Ultimate 2014 and then I decided to hook it up and play with it a while. I'll, I may go back to the, but this is a Razor and I really love the Razor software and it works with uh, Razor headsets, uh, their mouse, but I can't find right now. I thought I had a mouse, uh, one of their mouses or one of their Mises around here. Can't find it right now. But so right now I'm going to be messing with this now. Next time you watch the video I may be uh, using something else. Uh, as you know I've been uh, getting the Windows 10 evaluation bills and the uh, one, not the one bef right before this that I got last, a few days ago the one right before that, uh, when it, well, the one before that one wouldn't install. It just kept trying to install, and I could get, I could run, you know, get back to Windows and run it. Eventually, the next release fixed that problem, and it installed, and it had a problem. It dis it disabled my. It disabled my uh, printer, so my printer wouldn't work for a few days until they did their next evaluation release, 16237. And I got that, I think, yesterday, and it uh, fixed the... 
I don't recommend you do a vape because of the, you know, but I'm not going to, I'll try to put, I guess I'll put a link to this in case you want to see what's coming. And then I noticed this morning that uh, Darlene's computer, which I wasn't even sure that it was getting updates. I saw that it was doing an update. Of course, not an evaluation update, but an update. Um, I just got an update too, oh, and I don't tell you about those because I think you get them. Just got an update of the NVIDIA, and it's now at 3.7.0.81. Have no idea. Since I don't really do, don't really do gaming. I probably shouldn't even take the updates. I'm probably just looking for a problem one of these days. Uh, so, um, so now I don't have an old computer that I'm going to run Linux on. Uh, so I'm running Windows 10, and I'm running with my Chrome box, I'm running the Chrome operating system. So now let's get into this. I have to remember not to close these windows because I want to put the links below. I saw this on Amazon and I thought as you know, too, if you watch me, I got some. I like for cables to be. I, these, I try to tie off the cables and to the leg come up. I like everything running. Uh, I like everything organized. And the desk, I'd like to keep the desk cleared off as much as I can where I have room. And I like to keep things sort of organized, but I have so much stuff that I can't organize it. And at first I thought, nah, but I have a Chrome, where is that, someplace, I have a Chromebook, um, I have the Amazon what do they call their device fire? Is it uh, their device, which I really don't use much? Then I have my cell phone. Um, seems like I have something else. And I thought, at first I looked at this and said, no, no way. But then I got to thinking, hey, everything would be in the rack. right there and then plus two I try to I have USB I don't know if you can see them things all over here I have I changed all my plugs on my wall so if you there's connectors there and uh, I've got a 3.0 back here that I can plug stuff into and I see actually I've got that disconnected right now so this feels nice. Yeah, there we go. China really loves this tape, don't they? But I'm glad they seem to pack, they actually do seem to pack things well. And it seems like everything I buy is from China. So, this is the device. Smart charging, 0 0.24 amps, one, two, three, six of them. Over here are some cables. On this side there are cables that you can actually pull out and uh, oh this is neat these two are marked you know for phone oh and it's like a 
Did you see that? And then two are marked for Android. Okay. And here is the power. Let's see what we have here. There's where the power device goes in. How to use. Connect a charging station into the wall plug or surge protector with your AC cable. Connect your mobile devices with your original charging cable, not included. Uh, okay. It says a little more, but. More cables. There we go. Another cable. This looks like one of those standard cables that you see for a lot of products. That's kind of nice that uh, in case something would happen. This cable really feels uh, good quality. That's one thing with a lot of these things from China. Sometimes you get extremely short cords, which this one isn't. And a lot of times the, the gauge or whatever is so small, I'm kind of worried about uh, plugging, in, plugging them in. Okay, I am going to pause this and hook this up and I'll be right back. Okay, am I back? I think I'm back. Um, I got it hooked up. Haven't got my uh, Chrome switch here. I got the cell phone here in the in the front hooked up. The red adapter. Well, you can't see that. It's hardly see that it's red. There you can. I had to get that because that's, that's a uh, Type C, I think. It's a my blue cell phone. Behind that, I've got the Android that forty-nine dollar uh, from Amazon, and behind that is my uh, Chrome book. No. Yeah, Chromebook. So, uh, I don't have the... I've got to find the adapter for this. I know I've got it someplace. Or the cable. Well, the cable that I know that I... that uh, has a power block on the... on the back of it. That on the end of it, so that wouldn't work. But anyway, I've I, I've got a cable around here someplace, and I'll have to find that. So uh, this looks looks good to me. Uh, I recommend it. What else did I want? Oh, and one thing I really appreciate. Let me switch cameras again. 
One thing I really appreciate is that, uh, well, I'm not going to pan down, I guess. The plug on the end of the power cord for this, uh, oops, let's pull this up. Uh, they probably show that, okay, let me do this here. You know, this gives you a better view than I, than I really, uh, I should, tr I shouldn't even try. Oh, that's what I want to mention. It, down here, these two are for mark for iPhone. Let's see if they show that. Anyway, they they don't. The plug on the end <clears throat> that goes into the power thing <clears throat> is not a power block. It's just a plug, and I was able to put it right next to another to a power block that I have there. I just hate to have those big power blocks that take up two or three. Uh, plug, you know, block them. So let's see what this says. 10 port 60 watt power station, four charging ports, four at one amp with built in, those retractable cables work really good. Uh, on side A, let's see, six smart USB charging ports, 2.4 amps. On side B, it allows you to charge up to 10 devices, including smartphones and tablets, simultaneously in a compact space. Four built-in retractable charge cables on side A. I'm already confused about side A and B or whatever. Um, eliminate table clutter. I'm gonna. That's great. I mean, that's that's what I wanted. Now I can have all the devices like that over there in one spot, and I'll know where they are. Uh, safe and steady provides surge protection over voltage, over current, and short circuit protection. CE, FCC, ROHS certified, built in high quality, PVC, copper wire, and premium circuitry. So, I thank you very much for watching. I'll put any links uh, below that I uh, think you might be interested in.